Welcome everyone to our Hatha Yoga class. My name is Tammy. I'll be guiding you through the next hour. Our focus is on strength, strength conditioning in yoga. We're using our body weight. Moving into our first sun salutation, coming to the top of your mat, standing with your ankles, knees and hips in line with each other. A little shift through the body, hands down by your side, tailbone down now. Root yourself down into the ground, feel your foundation. Lift up through the arches of your feet. Draw your navel in towards the spine, about a 30% contraction. Standing tall, the crown of your head lifting up towards the sky. Relax your shoulders and then draw your shoulders up, back, down, up, back, down. One more time. Up, back, and down. Now shift through the body and then find that strength in Tadasana again, mountain pose, just what we were doing. So standing up nice and tall. First line salutation. Inhale, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, bend through the knees, dive forward. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Let's do that again two more times. Come up to halfway. Inhale, exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, come down to the ground with your hands. Step back with the right foot, left foot, plank right here. Jutting the body forward, come down to the knees. Lowering yourself into the ground, elbows hug your waist as you lower. Uncurl the toes, push the tops of the feet down, pubic bone down, inhale to up dog. Exhale, release. Do that two more times. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, release. One more time. Cubic bone down. Draw the navel in, pull in, pull towards your spine. Exhale, release into downward facing dog. Toes come back. Push, 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 push up to the plank and then up to downward facing dog. Alternating knee bend. Spread the fingers out, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. You want about two fists distance between your feet. And then hold still, drag the heels a little bit closer to the floor. Everyone bend to the knees, look to the hands, walk forward. All the way to your hands, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back, navel in, bend through the knees to help get that back flat. Exhale, release, hold. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Two more times through. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands to the ground, step up with the right foot, left foot, jut the body forward, come to the knees, lower into the ground. So the tops of your fingers are in line with your nipples. Uncurl the toes, inhale to up dog. Exhale, down your facing dog. Keep the elbows close to the waist as you do that push, and then down your facing dog. Inhale and exhale here. Drawing the heels closer to the ground. You may have your knees bent too. Taking off any kind of pressure on those wrists. With the exhale breath, bend to the knees, look to the hands, Walk 
the feet forward. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Head hangs, and then inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, feel your foundation, engage your quadriceps, engage your leg muscles, and then come all the way up. One more time through. Feel your foundation. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands to the ground, nice and strong. Step back with the right foot, big step. Big step back with the left foot, plank. Jump the body forward. You may come to the knees or then, or just fold into the floor. Elbows close. Inhale, uncurl the toes to up dog. Exhale, down the facing dog. So toes down and then come up, push, and then down the facing dog. Inhale, exhale here. With the exhale breath, come into child's pose, something a little different, child's pose. So come down to the knees, uncurl the toes, arms in front, or they'll be just onto your sides here. Let the forehead rest. Making your way out of child's pose to all fours. Engage your bundas. So we're going to draw the navel in. Lift up through pelvic floor muscles and hold. In all fours, toes down to the ground, shift back into the heels, and then come forward, shift back into the heels, forward one more time, shift, and back into cat cow. First, into cow through the lumbar spine and that you are moving first so tipping down lift your lumbar spine up belly down draw the navel in and then shine your heart up to the sky look up and then exhale lumbar spine so tailbone first coming down cut tailbone down and then big arch big cat and then inhale to cow Tailbone comes up and then heart up. Exhale, tailbone down first to cat, big arch. Inhale to cow, tailbone up, heart up. Exhale, cat, tailbone first. And then holding the neutral spine. Natural S curve of your back. So just come out of cat. Wag your tail. And then hold. We are doing puppy dog. Next, step forward, the right hand. Big step. Step forward with the left hand. Really big step for puppy dog. Getting the forearms down. The goal is to have your hips over top of the knees. Let the forehead rest. Releasing out of puppy jaw to all fours. Step forward with the right hand, just a little step this time, and the left hand. Enough to get into downward facing dog again. And we're pushing into the floor, nice and strong, gravity taking over, and then draw the hips up, draw the heels down, 
to the ground. Ex <laughs> Externally rotate, so turn your shoulders down. Three-legged dog, so nice and strong here. Engage your bandhas. Lift the right leg up towards the sky. Keep holding. With the exhale breath, take the right leg down, take the left leg up, inhale, lift, exhale, hold. Gripping the mat with your finger pads. With the exhale breath, releasing the foot down to the ground and then sitting back into child's pose. So come down to the knees and child's pose. Arms in before or behind forehead rest. This one's always nice to do with taking the arms back and then your wrist, they get that rest. You may also lie on your back for child's pose. Then draw the knees in towards the chest or lie on your side. Coming out of child's pose to all fours and then take the toes down to the ground into camel. Sitting on your heels, small of the back, placing your hands, palms, palms into the small of your back, your fingertips are pointing down. Okay, then standing on your knees, lift your chest up, draw the navel in, really long through the spine. This is a back bend, bending through the upper part of your back. You may be here and do the back bend with a nice big inhale coming up. Exhale, holding through the upper part of your back bending. Pull the navel in, tailbone down. You may change it with having your hands come down to the heels of your feet and then holding on to the heels of your feet with your palms, lifting your heart up to the sky. Keep lengthening through the spine, never squishing into the lumbar spine. If you find that there's any kind of squishing, please release, come out and then come into child's pose. Everyone slowly releasing, coming up the opposite way and then releasing, sitting back into the heels. Take the hands down into child's pose again. Uncurl the toes and then child's pose. Let the forehead rest. Arms may be four or by the sides. You may also have your hands above the head and elbows down, hands together in prayer. Releasing out of child's pose. Come back to all fours, toes down to the ground. Step forward with the right hand, left hand, left hand, downward facing dog. Draw the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Low lunge here. Left knee may come down to the floor or the knee, or the knee is lifted. You may tent the hands, tent your fingers or palms down. Low lunge. Now nice and strong here, using that body weight. Push your heel back, draw down through the hip, getting a little bit of a deeper stretch for this low lunge into our hip flexors, our quadriceps.
Releasing, take the knee down to the ground. Support for the knee, you may want to double up your mat too. Coming into crescent moon here. Coming up, take your hands onto your quadricep. Arms down by the sides, find your balance. So nice and strong and your balance comes from that center here. So center your core, hands, arms up, overhead, relax through your shoulders, crescent moon, drawing your heart up, small back bend, lifting your heart up towards the sky. Really root, set, root yourself down into ground, feel your foundation, exhaling breath, taking your hands down to the ground, fold forward into downward facing dog. So take that right leg back. Inhale, sweep your left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Again, the knee may come down or knee is lifted. Hands flat or tent those fingers. Low lunge holding. Push your heel back. Drop down into your hip flexors here. So just drop down into the hip. Feel the length coming through the front of your thigh. Now take the knee down to the ground, crescent moon on this side. Take your hands up to your quadricep. Now balance, draw everything into the center, pull the navel in, and then draw the arms up overhead. You may add the back bend, lift up through your heart towards the sky, small back bend. Keep, stay strong. Stay strong from the center, pull it, everything in towards the center midline of your body. And then exhale, make your way out, hands come down to the ground, and then step the left foot back to the right, downward facing dog. Alternate knee bends. Bend through the knees, look to the hands, walk your feet forward. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, strong through your foundation, through your feet. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Good. Okay. Extended side angle. Bend to the knees. Step back, straight back with the right foot. Big lunge here and then tip that heel down to the ground. Set yourself up so your heels are in line with each other or that front heel in line with that back arch to make it a little bit more challenging. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, lunge forward and then sweep your right arm up overhead. Relax through your shoulders, twist through the body, long through the waist. So turn your body towards the front. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more cycle of breath. With the exhale breath, making your way out, bend through the knees and step right to meet the left few little clicks. <laughs> I'm just going to come to the other side of the mat so you can see me open up. Okay, bend through the knees again, extended side angle. So bend through the knees and step the left foot back and then turn that foot down. So heels in line or front heel in line with your back arch. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, lunge forward. Inhale, draw the arms up and over and exhale. Twist through the body, set yourself up. Arm up overhead. 
Inhaling and exhaling here, relax through the shoulders. Your right knee is pointing straight ahead. Check to see if your waist is long, both sides. Notice if you're scrunching down into one side. With the next inhale breath, make your way up. Exhale, bend through the knees and step left to meet the right. Shift through the body. Forward fold will be our next pose. So come to the top of the mat with a nice inhale, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Let yourself hang. Okay, feeling your foundation here through your feet. Hold on to the elbows and then a sway through the body. Let the head hang. And then just a sway back and forth. And then find center, release your arms, feel your foundation, and nice inhale, come up to halfway left. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, super arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Bringing the big toes together. So just your big toes, not the sides inside of your feet. Into chair pose, fierce posture. Relax the shoulders, tailbone down, sitting back into a squat. So we're really going to be engaging our leg muscles here, checking to see if your knees are passing your toes. Then take your arms down by the sides and then inhale, draw your arms up overhead. Draw the navel in, pull in, so you're not overextending into the lumbar spine. Relax your shoulders, draw your shoulder blades down the back. Inhaling and exhaling, keep holding, stay strong. Pull the navel in. Next inhale, making your way out of fierce posture. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, coming up nice and strong. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Hands onto your knees. Step or jump out with ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. And then dive forward again uh, with your peace fingers. Hold on to the big toes. So wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Bend your knees enough to get the back straight, flat. And then exhale, fold forward. Take the elbows out to the sides. Head hangs. Pressing down to the ground, feeling strong. Inhaling, release your toes, walk the hands forward. Exhale, come up to halfway, place your hands onto the hips. Strong through your legs and inhale all the way up. Small back bend here. Draw the heart up, small back bend, upper part of the back. Exhale, release. And then shift through the body. Tadasana, mountain pose. 
Turn your palms to face the front of your mat. Close your eyes and then reset here. Do a head to toe check. Just notice how much taller that you feel. Opening up your eyes and release, shift through the body. Okay, into a couple balance postures. Balance postures, my little Come into the center here for dancer's pose. So ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, take your right elbow into the waist and then pick up your right foot. Hold on to the ankle. You may hold on to the inside of your ankle or the inside of your foot. Relax your shoulders. Now really root yourself down into the ground. You may also hold on to a ledge. When you're ready, start kicking your foot away, reaching forward as you're pulling everything in to the center midline of your body. Keep pulling everything in, keep kicking higher, higher, and then slowly make your way out, come back to the center, and then release. Oh, lots of fun dancers pose. <laughs> I'd like to see it. <laughs> but sometimes it makes us a little bit more aware of what's happening um, when we're doing the posture. Okay, so standing up nice and tall into the other side. Inhale, keep your arms up overhead. Exhale, take your left elbow down into the side and picking up your left foot. Hold on to the ankle or inside of your foot. You may remain here. You may hold on to a ledge, a table. Draw the knee down to the ground. And when you're ready, Taking that leg up, reaching forward, and then kicking the leg higher. Pull everything again, center midline of your body. Now, flex the foot, keep it strong, keep it strong, keep it strong, flex that foot. Kick higher, higher, and then slowly releasing Coming back to the center and release. Shift through the hips. Tree pose will be next. Stand up tall. Turn the right knee out to the side. Toes may be, uh, your ball of your foot may be down to the ground or however you like. You may also hold on to something. Place your foot onto the outside of your calf or into the inner thigh, setting yourself up. Hands go to heart center. You may grow your tree with arms up overhead. Slowly coming out of tree, releasing your leg. Take that foot down, shift through the hips. 
Okay, to the other side, I'm just gonna turn my body so you can see. Okay, feel your foundation and then setting yourself up. Foot onto the outside of your calf, never onto your knee joint or the inner thigh, pick it up. You may hold onto that ledge. Place your hands to your heart center. Draw everything into the midline of your body so you're staying strong. Pull in, pull in. Arms may go above the head. Slowly releasing out of tree and a shift through the body. Coming down to the ground, I'm just gonna come to this side. With a vinyasa flow, sun salutations, half of the sun salutation, the warm up we did at the beginning. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands down to the ground and then step back with the right foot left foot, strong plank here. Jet the body forward, lower yourself into the ground. You may uncurl the toes here and then come up into a, a, up dog or full up, coming forward, up dog, and then downward facing dog. There's just a little variation there. Bending through the knees, look to the hands, walk, step, or jump to a seated position here. And then hold. Okay, take your legs long in front, sitting up nice and tall. Remove the fleshy part from your bottom ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Take your arms just by the sides and then hands down. Pressing down onto the ground, sitting up tall. Toes up to the sky. Draw the chin into the chest just a little bit. Close the eyes. And then releasing, opening up the eyes, bending both knees. Take your hands behind. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. So we're gonna open up our feet wider than the hips and windshield wiper. Okay, come back to the center with those feet, sitting up nice and tall. Lift your heart up into boat pose. So straight spine, lift your right leg up. Lift your leg, left leg up. Now boat pose, let's hold on to our knee pits here first. So keeping your heart up. You may release one hand and then the other hand away. Knees may be bent or legs are straight. Look at your toes, engage your bandhas, draw that navel in, keep pulling in, stay strong. Relax the shoulders. So many things. <laughs> Keep breathing. Slowly releasing. Okay, cross the right leg in front of the left leg. Sitting up. And then release, cross the left leg in front of the right leg and sit up. Okay. Release, take both feet in front, take your hands behind into reverse tabletop. So we would like to have our fingers about three inches behind. 
You may have your hands flat or two. Just find what's going to work for you. My fingers are going to be about three inches away from my bottom and then sitting up nice and tall. To tabletop here, your bottom may remain down or lift the bottom up towards the sky. Keep lifting up. Lift a little higher. Keep breathing. With the exhale breath, making your way out, the reverse tabletop, and release. Taking the right foot into the groin, and then the left foot in front. You can't see my right foot, but it's into my groin, and then left foot in front. Set up nice and tall, with a little shift of the body, Maybe needed here. And then inhale, draw the arms up overhead. And then exhale, fold forward. Forehead's resting. You may rest on your mat, your hands. You may have those fists stacked. Just feeling grounded again, giving our wrists a break. With the next inhale breath, you're making your way out of the folded fold forward. Arms may come up overhead. And then exhale. Releasing. Okay. And to the other side, take the left foot into the groin, and now this time the right, so it looks like that, and the right foot comes in front. Okay. Stretching into each side of the hip here. Inhale, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. So this time you're going to feel that stretch coming into the right side. Forehead is resting. You may even want to use a cushion. Just letting yourself feel that grounding again, giving the wrist, wrist a break. Making your way out of this hold with a nice inhale, coming up, bring, bring your arms up overhead, I should say, and then exhale, hands down to heart center. Plank is our next pose. Take your legs up to the side here. Take the arms forward. We're going to come into table or to all fours for first, tabletop, and then Step forward with the right hand, then come draw the forearm down to the ground. Left forearm down to the ground. Lots of ver versions of plank. You may do this version. It's taking your knees off the ground, or the knees may be down to the ground too. If you bring your feet closer together, It'll be a little bit more challenging. Draw those shoulders down. You can do a little round through the upper back. So drawing your shoulders down, pressing down into the ground. If you do a plank with somebody else. They can check your hips to see that they're on the same level, same plane. Three more cycles of breath. 
So one cycle would be inhale and exhale. Keep drawing the navel in. Slowly releasing out of plank and then come back into child's pose. Child's pose, arms forward or just by the sides. Make your knee out and sitting on your bottom. Just relieving our wrist before crow pose. This time, cross your right leg over top of the left leg. I'd like you to line up your left ankle, an ankle with the right knee and then the right knee with your left ankle. Okay, just holding here for a moment. You may also have the left leg straight and crossing your right ankle over the knee, left knee. Slowly releasing, so cross, and then into the other side. So this time you may have your right leg straight and then crossing your left ankle over top of the right knee. You may bend the right knee and then line up your ankle and knee on each side. Notice if your ankle is dropping down, so just lift it up so you can place the hand under the ankle so it's just not turning down. And slowly release. Okay, crow pose. Bakasana is next. So come to all fours and then step forward with the right foot, left foot, and then sit back. Sitting back first into Balasana, Harlan pose. Toes turned out, knees turned out. Hands to your heart. In prayer, push out into the inner thighs or to the inside of your knees. And then releasing garden pose, take your hands down to the ground for crow. This is definitely the strength coming through the core and but it's, it is definitely, it has to do with like the placement too of your legs, inside of your legs onto the backs of your arms. So use your core strength, taking your hands forward. Just find me what's comfortable for you. You may make a diamond shape, a triangle, um, or you can have your hands a little bit wider, spread the fingers out. Crow, you may lift one foot off the ground, and then you may lift the other. You can play with it. You can do little jumps here, just lifting your feet off the ground. So just play with it, just to get that balance at first and the placement of the inside of your thighs onto the backs of your arms. You may also hold crow, lifting your toes off the ground. Flexing your feet always helps to make this pose a little bit stronger too. And then slowly release, come back onto your bottom, shake out those wrists. Get that blood flow. Okay, 
rolling over onto our tummy for low kiss. Right cheek rests on the ground for Shavasana first on our tummy. So the tops of our feet down, take the arms by the side. Releasing out of Shavasana to locus, so turn the head, nose or chin down to the ground, and then lift up your head, lift up your arms, lift up your legs, pull the navel in, pull the navel in, working against gravity, lift up higher, so using our body weight, keep pulling the navel in, lift up through the pelvic floor muscles, Exhale, releasing left cheek rests on the ground. You may close your eyes. And releasing into our next posture, half bow. Take your arms forward, right arm, take it in front. Let the forehead rest onto your forearm. And then hold onto the left ankle. Or, yeah, left ankle. <laughs> Holding on to the left ankle. Forehead resting, pelvic tilt. So pushing your pelvis into the ground just on the left side so pelvic tilt pressing down keep holding you can make kick that foot away just like dancers pose that we did when we were standing slowly release into shavasana Again, right cheek rests on the ground. Into the other side for half bow, forehead rests on the forearm, left arm hold onto the right ankle. You may also hold onto your pat leg and then pelvic tilt that right side down into the ground and then kick the foot away. Keep kicking. And everyone release and left cheek rest on the ground. Full, full bow, bow is our next posture. Turn your nose towards the ground or chin and then hold onto the right and left ankle. Hold the navel in, lift up through the pelvic floor muscles and then lift your legs up, lift your heart up, keep lifting higher, pull the navel in, higher, higher, and then release. Coming back into child's pose, just the opposite way that we were bending, that we were stretching. Child's pose is always a nice counter pose. And then let's release. Roll over to your back. But before we do, just have your band ready. So place your band onto the side here. Roll over to your back. 
bending through both of the knees. Use your band. Take both feet into the back. So place it onto into the middle, both of your feet here. Legs up. And then release your left leg from the band. Knee may be bent or that leg is straight. Pull up through the pelvic floor muscles, navel in towards the spine. Now, if your leg is straight, lift the foot off the ground about an inch or two. Your arms may rest down to the ground, pulling still on the band. If you do not have a band, you're holding on to your leg. You may hold on to your leg from behind your hamstrings. You may hold on to your pant leg. And then slowly release, take the left foot down, hold on to the band of your leg with your right hand, take your right leg over to the side. Place your left hand onto the left hip. If you notice that it's really lifting up, press it down. Releasing, take your leg back to the center, hold on to the band with the left leg and then take the right leg up over your body to the left. Right arm may come in line with your shoulder. Flexing your foot. Feel stretch into the calf muscles then too. Take the leg back to the center. Take the left foot in towards the band. Release your right foot, knee is bent or the leg is straight. And then when you're ready, lift the heel off the ground, lift the leg off the ground, flexing both of your feet. Now slide your hands down the band and let the arms rest on the floor. Keep using your bandhas. Take your right foot down to the ground, hold onto the band with the left leg, still engage your bandhas, those pelvic floor muscles lift up through, and then open up through the left leg to the left side, place your right hand down to the hip, keep holding, pressing down, Taking your leg back to the center, hold on to the band with the right hand, and then take your leg up and over to the right side. Left arm may come out straight or elbow bent. Flex the foot. Just stretch a little bit more into the calf muscles. Take your leg back to the center. Place your right foot into the band. And then give a little stretch here for both legs and release. Release the band. Take your knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock side to side. Place both feet down to the ground. One more posture and then we'll move into Shavasana. See if you can touch your heels. Bridge here. You may place a block between your knees. It really does help to pull everything into the center midline of your body. So palms down to the ground, always looking up to the sky, never looking around and then draw the pelvis up to the sky. Good 
And slowly take the pelvis down and knees into the chest. One more squeeze. And release. Getting ready for Shavasana now. Lying on your back or your side, or you may have that incline. If you're lying on your back, take your right foot over to the right corner of your mat, left foot to the left corner of your mat. Squeeze your glutes and then let them release, letting your pelvis soften into the ground. You may wanna squeeze your glutes again and then let them release. Hands may go onto your, your tummy, your belly, or arms by the sides with your palms turned up towards the sky. Taking your arms a little bit further away from the body, just to open up a little bit more. Here, close your eyes. Let your eye sockets be heavy. Lips together and then let the lips part. We'll be in Shavasana for a few minutes. Let yourself feel that heaviness, the release. I will call you back when it is time. Slowly coming back. Noticing your breath. Wiggling your toes and fingers. A little shift through the body. Deepening your breath.
If you're lying on your back, bending through the knees, taking the right arm up overhead, and then rolling over to your right side to fetal. Take a moment and then coming up to a comfortable seated position. Hips may be higher than the knees, taking the pressure off the knees. Relax through the shoulders. Placing your right hand to your left hand. Thank you so much for coming and enjoying, and enjoying this practice with me. Keep working on our strength as we move through the rest of our week. Namaste.